Hello, this is Jimmy again, and I'm going to give you some more words. And it's about time. The first one is called Dream, and it starts, Lord, I don't really know you all that well. From what I've heard, though, you must be swell. Even though you live in heaven, you have visited hell. And I can close my eyes and fantasize from within my cell. I think of birds and trees and honeybees, or the white crests of waves far out in the seas can come to my mind if I so please. After thinking of you, I can do it with ease. A song that's sung on a starry night with a moon that's full and shining bright, and I feel your presence right on my right. Complete my vision of pure delight. It's all there before me, can't you see? Believing you, you, I have truly become free. There are no locked doors, for you are the key, and it doesn't cost anything. There is no fee. So I'll just let... So I'll just let ha I'll just let it happen. What can I lose? I'll drift on a cloud, go where I choose. I won't feel sorry. That's for fools who think life is explained in the evening news. I can make my life whatever I deem. Be okay. I got it wrote down on some weird paper. Becoming your light. All right. Forget that. That's enough of it. Was that a good one? I liked it. And the other one you wanted, we wanted was yeah. communication? Yeah, communication. Yeah. Sitting around without a thought or a care, I wonder what's happening in the world out there. This life can be cruel, although I try to be kind. How hard should I try before I lose my mind? Pondering over my troubles, it seems that answers should come to me in my dreams. If I just ignore them and let them some slide by, they'll come back to haunt me, and then I'll cry. Facing reality, things just got much worse. I still try to put it all down in a verse. I can't even drown them with booze, and that's bad. And everything else, only it makes me mad. But after hours and hours of contemplation, I have come up with a revelation, an answer that will save the nation, and it's just simple communication. All right, what was the other one? Dad. You, I can't do everyone was blessed? All right, Dad. I remember the times that you held my hand and when you taught me to catch a ball. You were so proud of me when I took my first step and I looked up to you because you were so tall. My, how these times just tend to slip by. It must seem like just yesterday when you came home from work so tired and worn out, and you still took me outside to play. You taught me well, but I didn't listen. Your words were lost in the air. I lived my life like there was no tomorrow, but now I know you always did care. What I'm trying to say is, I mean it today, and this is really hard for me to be. I guess what it all boils down to when all said and done, Dad, I love and I miss you your son. Okay, you like that one, huh? Alright, what was the other one I was going to do? Might as well go back to something else I've already done. Cowboy, right? A cowboy never cries. You like that, huh? Mm -hmm. I like the title. A cowboy never cries. He takes his life in stride. And when his life is not too rosy, he'll keep it on the inside. It's easy for him to ride the fence of love because much too oft he'll be lonely out there on his ranch and afraid of being called soft. When love comes round and knocks at his door, he doesn't answer quickly. For when he's courting, he loses his freedom. If he loses too much, he'll turn sickly. 
A cowboy's bound to speak his mind. He'll call you to the floor. And before you let him see him sniff, he'll be heading for the door. It's hard for him to let just let go and freely fall in love because he's afraid to lose his life under the wide open skies above. So if you're going to love a cowboy, look deeply into his eyes to see the hurt that's bound to beat there because a cowboy never cries.